Colorado's attorney general is stepping into a rare criminal case against two snowboarders involved in an avalanche above I-70 last year. AG Phil Weiser has filed a motion arguing state avalanche forecasters shouldn't have to testify, claiming it could create a chilling effect and dissuade people from reporting slides to the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. The case involves Evan Hannibal and Tyler DeWitt, who are both charged with reckless endangerment and may have to pay $168,000 in restitution. The experienced backcountry snowboarders were riding above the Eisenhower Johnson tunnels on March 25th last year when the avalanche was triggered. The slide picked up steam as it went down, it damaged an avalanche mitigation device and covered the road above the tunnels with snow. No one was hurt. Forecasters with the State Avalanche Center went out to look at that slide as they always do. Hannibal and DeWitt's attorneys say that the boarders willingly shared the GoPro video of the moment of the slide or the moment that slide started with those forecasters. And the 5th Judici Judicial District Attorney's Office is now using that video as part of their case. And they've subpoenaed two CAIC employees to testify, including Director Ethan Green. Our investigations are not legal. Um, they're not, uh, we have no statutory authority to do them. We do it to uh, be able to provide education for people and also contribute to the long-term record of uh, avalanche accidents. CAIC argues everything they can provide for the trial is already in their report. Acting as an attorney for CAIC, AG Phil Weiser calls the subpoenas, quote, unduly burdensome and compliance would be unreasonable or oppressive. But the DA for the 5th Judicial District says her office issues subpoenas for state employees all the time. We have cases across our district. There are cases across the entire state of Colorado that involve CBI analysts, that involve Colorado State Troopers, that involve uh, Department of Wildlife employees. I am unaware of any case where the Attorney General has filed a motion to quash a subpoena when any prosecutor's office has requested any of those individuals. So this is new territory. The DA says she doesn't believe the outcome of a single criminal trial in Summit County is going to affect whether someone reports an avalanche in the future. A judge will rule on it, the attorney general's motion on March 16th, and then the trial against Hannibal and DeWitt is scheduled for March 25th.